Hey there guys, what's going on? I got another lock here for you tonight. This is going to be a Commando lock. This is their new Evolution. It's a very good looking padlock. It's got stamped USA up there on top. Commando on the shackle. The shackle is made out of boron, although it's not stamped that anywhere. It just says Commando. It's a laminated padlock. On the bottom of it we got USA Commando lock right there. If I can get the camera to, to work right. There's a good look at it right there. USA Commando Lock. You can tell this is a new one. It's got serrated key pins, serrated spool pins up top uh, for driver pins. And the keyway is the Y1 style keyway. And it's got these key limiters right there. We're going to talk about that a little bit later in the video. And let's get started picking this lock. You can have some fun with these. Um... The first trouble I ran into with this lock picking it was it would not accept a standard bottom of the keyway tension wrench. So I'm using Southord's, their newer tension wrench. I forget which one it is, but it's one of the thicker ones. And then I'll be using a standard Southord short hook to SPP this guy open. Back of the keyway. Apply tension. The second problem I had with picking this lock open was the keyway is somewhat kind of narrow inside. So a full size hook gets kind of hung up. Sometimes. It's not too hard to overcome. There's my false set right there. And generally if you get this lock into a false set, you can get it open. Coming off pin number two, out of the false set now. Maybe. If I can get my hook to work. There we go. So there it is. SPP, no problems. Like I said, the only problems I ran into was tensioning it, bottom of the keyway, and uh, the keyway being kind of tight. So we're going to lock it back up, close it up just like that, and I'm going to move you guys down. So now we're going to rake it open. So first off, I'll be using my W rake. This is generally a kinetic rake meant to stab into the lock with no tension. Lift up a little bit, apply light tension, and pull it right back out. But I don't I don't use it that way. I can use it as just a regular rake. You just go in there just like scrubbing and you can get the lock open. It works both ways. So there's my false set right there. So why am I doing this? I'm doing this to showcase that you can rake past security pins. There's another false set. Um, if you're new to locks for it, there's another false set. You can either rake it into a false set and then single pin pick your way out of it or if you just keep trying you can rake open a lock that has security pins in it. Uh, you just gotta be uh, you just gotta be aware of your tensioning technique and it does take a little bit of practice. There's another false set. So a lot of times people will get a false set and go in there with their hook and finish it up. But given the technique, you can rake past security pins. You can rake open most locks. It's just all in technique and how you do it. So there it is. Raked open with the W rake. And for more information about this uh, pick... This was around before the Bogota, and it was included in a lot of Southward sets. There was a lot of hype around the Bogota picks when they first came out, but this is generally what I use. I don't use a Bogota all that often. Anyway, I'm going to rake it open with a simple snake rake. And again, there's my false set. If you get tension just right, you can rake it open. It does not matter that it has security pins in it. So I'm trying to trying to illustrate that here by raking them open quite a bit. Um, the next pick profile we're going to use is going to be a half diamond, half ball on the back side, followed by another half diamond. And the guy that invented this pick profile, i got a piece of paper here, should have had this ready before the video. His name is Chip Shuhart. He's an old school lock picker. There's a look at that profile up close. Uh, he took a standard snowman, cut the bottom of it off, filed the tip away to generally about the angle of a half diamond, followed by a half ball, followed by another half ball. 
Uh, anyway, Southward's seen his video, and he's got a video, and it's called uh, New Pick Idea, if you want to go check out his channel, Chip Shoehart. Doesn't make uh, lock picking videos anymore, but he's an old school lock picker. He's got several old lock picking videos. But anyway, Southward seen the video, uh, and they started producing the pick. So there it is, the Shoehart profile. And what's unique about this pick is you can apply tension, stab it in, bring it back out very quickly, and it just zips through uh, padlocks very, very quickly. He's got a great video on his channel. He can do the technique better than I can. Got a false set. And there we are, open. That only took like three passes. He could probably do it in one. So we're going to stay open. Now I'm going to show you a hack for this padlock. Not really designed for this, but since it's a commando, all commando locks have these hacks in them. Turn the plug back just a little bit. Get that plug to free up if we can. All right. Maybe showing you this hack. I don't know if I can get it. Let's see. There we go. Got the plug freed. Carefully take my tension wrench out. Now this is common with all commando locks, whether they have the key limiters or not. So, gotta get the plug to the one o'clock position. Take a plug spinner. Stick the plug spinner in the keyway. Spin the plug past the twelve o'clock position, past those key limiters. And your shackle will fall out. Which basically, commando lock, they use the guts of their eye change and all their padlocks. So technically, if you wanted to use a longer shackle with this guy, you could do it. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here. This model wasn't really designed for the end user to be changing the shackle, but oh well, that's just a hack with most command locks that you can do. Take your plug spinner here, re-cock it, and we're going to close this guy up and be done with the video. Maybe. Oh, it's been a long day, guys. PayPal doesn't want to work right. This doesn't want to work right. And did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Well, no, we didn't. Anyway, not a problem. I just got to get that picked back open. And then we'll get them closed up. Like I said, that's a little hack you can do with Commando Locks. You can do it with all their locks, I think. So there's that, and we'll just, what are we going to do here? Let's just try this W rake again. Show you another style of lock picking that used to be common back in the day. You rake it, get a false set, go in there with your favorite hook or whatever, and now you're just going to pick it out of that false set. So it should be pin number two, maybe. Just start looking for counter rotation. Watch me not get it. I think it's pin number two. Maybe not. Nope. It was pin number one. And there it is. Picked open. So now I can close the shackle. So there it is. Right there. As always guys. Thank you for watching. Like I said. I showcased a lot of different techniques. Single pin picking. Raking. You can, uh, for all the new lock sporters out there, you can rake past security pins. It doesn't matter whether it's serrated, mushroom, spool pins, combination of all three. You can rake past them. It's just technique. And I showed the Shoehart uh, profile, which not many new people have seen. And what else did I do? That's about it. And I showed uh, the, the hack with commando locks. Almost all commando models, whether they have the key limiters or not, if you pick it open, turn the shackle, Spin the plug back around, the shackle will drop out. That's just a simple hack with all commando locks. So there it is, commando lock, made in the USA, marine version. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out southward.com if you need some lock picks. And they do make that one pick profile. Where is it at? There it is right there. I think it's called the Max 18. Anyway, they do make it. And that's the guy that invented it. Chip Shoehart, new pick idea was the video title. As always, guys, thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.